It's Master Wigglesworth at Show and Tell University. It's time for show and tell. It's time for show and tell. What did you bring today, Miss Marge? It's time for show and tell. Ha ha Hi, boys and girls. Hi, boys and girls. This is Miss Marge. Thank you, Master Wigglesworth. Today is Varsity Counting Day, and I brought for show and tell our counting board, our whiteboard. We're going to do adding numbers today, and also I brought pipe cleaners and beads. We're going to have fun making things. First of all today, little scholars, let's start by counting from 1 to 25 by 1s. Are you ready? Here we go. 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. Congratulations, you're in the Varsity Counting Club. Now we're going to count by tens to 100. By tens, 10 fingers, here we go. 10, 20, here the two in 20. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Clap for yourself. I want to give a shout out to River today. Hi, River. We're glad to have you with us at the Varsity Counting Club. And next, we're going to, we counted, we have to learn how to write our numbers. So I have a whiteboard, an eraser, and a dry erase marker. Remember, we pop that off, put that on the back. And we remember that we sing Skip to Malu is the song that we sing to write our numbers. Come straight down to make a one. Come straight down to make a one. Come straight down to make a one. That's how you make a one. You know the song, so I'm going to cut it short a little bit. We have lots to do today. Make a candy cane and then a straight stick. That's how you make a two. Around and around to make a three. Remember that? Now, on four, short stick, long stick, then across. Short stick, long stick, then across. That's how you make a four. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to make a five. A five is to make a straight stick back around and then a hat. A straight stick back around and then a hat. That's how you make a five. Let's make a six. Down and around to make a six. There's your six. Now your seven. We reviewed this lots of times. See how I hold down my whiteboard? Straight across and slant down to make a seven. There you go. Now we talked about number eight. Some people make two circles for a number eight. That's what it looks like. But actually, we make an S and then go back up. That's how you make it. Make an S and then back up. Make an S and then back up. Make an S and then back up. That's how you make an eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We just need one eight, so there we go. And a nine looks like six, but it's upside down. Here we go. Make a ball and then a stick. Make a ball and then a stick. That's how you make a nine. Now a 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Make a stick and then a ball. Make a stick and then a ball. Make a stick and then a ball. That's how you make a ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's how you write the numbers. And then you just write different numbers. You can write any number up to infinity. Watch how I put this and beyond.
pop that in there and there's our whiteboard and our only our dry erase markers now I'm gonna put this over here oh I feel like it's is that gonna stay next I'm going to show you exactly some of the things that I brought for show and tell today this is a magnet board with the magnets that we made. Remember the puffy stickers? And then you just glue them on the back. Sometimes they have sticky on it. This is just something I got at the dollar store for the teachers. These are something I got at Hobby Lobby. They're stickers, and then I put magnets on the back. This is a plus, plus. This is an equal sign, equal. Hmm, watch what we're going to do. Here's our tree. This is called addition. If I have, and you can get this cookie sheet for a dollar at Dollar Deals or the dollar store. They're fun to have all of our magnet units. If I have two owls in the tree and one owl down here, let me put number two, these are magnets, two owls in the tree plus, remember you can make a plus like this with your finger, plus one owl on the ground. Two plus one equals, that means how many is it? Let's count them. One, two, three. Two owls plus one owl equals how many? One, two, three. You just did that. You just clap for yourself. You just did addition. You are adding two owls plus one owl equals three owls. Let's try that again. I'm going to put my magnetic numbers back. I have two monkeys in the tree. And I have, let me get that off there, two pandas on the ground. How many animals do I have? Two monkeys, let's put that there, plus, see the plus sign? Two monkeys plus two pandas. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Two monkeys plus two pandas equals four animals. Two plus two equals four. Clap for yourself. Look, I have a heart. I'm, I love that you know how to do your numbers. And there's our counting numbers again. Now I have something fun to show you. This is really great. These are pipe cleaners, and we're going to make numbers with our pipe cleaners. Also, look what I have over here. These are dowel rods and cubes and beads that I got. You can get them at Mardell's or at Hobby Lobby. They don't cost very much at all. I stuck the dowels into the cubes, and I used orange orange dowels in yellow. Now, let's see. Let me show you how I make these. I took a regular pipe cleaner. I cut it in half. Well, that's a one. Look at that. Look at that. One. And here's one bead. Actually, let's take that off there. One bead I'm going to put on there. See how you make that? One, you made a number one and you got one bead. These are little plastic beads. There's number one. That's how we made a number one. And then I took the cube and the dowel rod. See how that comes? It does come off. I've got it in there pretty tight. And I put one bead. So look at that. One, come straight down to make a one. Then I made a number two. And that's a blue pipe cleaner. Now, moms and dads, these are really, really fun for the kids to do. You can cut them, you kind of need heavy scissors or wire. And look at a number two. We're just gonna bend it. See how I use that? Be careful because the end is a little bit, a little bit sticky. St sticky as in sharp. Then remember we make for a number two, we make a candy cane. Let the kids do this, grandma, grandpa, mom and dad, whoever's helping you. Whoever's helping the little scholars, you coaches, show and tell you coaches, let them do it. There's a number two. Now I used two red beads. Can you see that on number two? And I have two right here. So I'm gonna stick two red beads on here. This is good for fine motor skills for little ones. 
one, two. Look! Now you can do it on a full pipe cleaner if you want to. I just happen to do it on that one. Now look what I have here, number three. This is great for their colors. We have a round and a round to make a three. And I have green, blue, and green. And look how I did the same thing here. Although I just put all green on that. See that? So you have fun things that you can make, boys and girls. We've given you lots of things today that you can do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I just made those and put the buttons, the little uh, beads on it. Well, I'm so glad you stopped by today. Thanks for stopping by, little scholars. Thank you, River, and all our friends for stopping by. Come back often and invite a friend.